Okay, now we're going to um, revolve a solid around the y-axis. So we're going to solve this question. It says, find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region bounded by y equals 2 thirds x, y equals 2, and x equals 0 around the y-axis. So the first thing we're going to do is plot these three functions. Now, y equals 2 thirds x is a straight line. It crosses, the y-intercept would be 0. And then we'd go up to over 3 to get another point. We can go down 2 and left 3. So we get this nice straight line. And then we've got y equals 2, so that would be a horizontal line here. And x equals 0 is the y-axis. So we're evolving this triangular region around the y-axis. And that doesn't leave any gaps or holes, so again, this is the disk method. Okay, now, since we're revolving around the y-axis, the first thing we need to think about is where's our radius. And so the center is where we're revolving, the um, y-axis. And so we would go out to this line to get our radius. Okay, so if, if that's our triangular region, this would be one of our radius. You know, our circle would be coming out. Oops, I didn't draw very well would be coming out like this, we would have a disk. This is our radius. So our radius is going to be this line minus zero. So just basically the equation for this line. But we need to rewrite it in terms of y, since we're going to revolve around the y-axis. So if we start with y equals 2 thirds x, we multiply both sides by 3 halves. We get 3 halves y equals x. So that's going to be our um, radius. So we're going to go, now since we're revolving around the y-axis, we're going to think in terms of y, so we're going to go from our lower limit, 0, up to, this is, was that y equals 2, so up to 2. And then remember the formula for the disk method is pi r squared, so there's our pi. And then our radius is 3 halves y squared dy. Now, this would not be a difficult one to solve by hand at all, but if we pull out the pi, and then you integrate from 0 to 2 of 3 halves y squared dy, this whole integral is just equal to 6, so our final answer is 6 pi.